So Jesus Christ said in His Word, as we were talking about there, that you must be born again. That's why, as we just said, He died on the cross. God saw the travail of His soul and was satisfied by the travail of His Son's soul. That's the cost of your sin. That's the cost of your sin is death. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. We deserve to die because of our sin. That's the problem in America today is so many people don't really see how bad sin actually is. They think, oh yeah, everybody sins, uh, blah, blah, blah. But they don't realize what sin actually is. Sin is the transgression of the law of God. And the Bible says that the law of God is pure and undefiled. The law of God is perfect and it, it converteth the soul. So God holds His law to pretty important value, ladies and gentlemen. God holds His law to a pretty important status. And He holds His law so important that He says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That's the punishment for sin. Death. And that's not just a physical death. When Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the tree of knowledge, God told them, The day you eat this, you'll die. They didn't die, or at least Adam didn't die, for another over five centuries. So did God lie? No, he didn't lie. Adam spiritually died on the day he ate that fruit. His spirit inside of him died. It was condemned to eternal hell. And that's what happens when you sin against God. Every time you get a hangover, every time you tell a lie, every time you lust after someone that's not your spouse, every time you, uh, you cheat, steal, or kill, Every time you commit a sin, you die in your soul. You die spiritually. You're condemned to eternal hell by sin. And that's why Jesus said that He didn't come to condemn the world but to save it. Why, did he, why didn't He come to condemn it? Because we already did that ourselves. We were already condemned. We didn't have to give Jesus the trouble of condemning us. We were already there. So Jesus came that we might be saved. Saved from our sins. And that's why the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says, He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds might be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. When people hear the preaching of the Word of God, people hear the preaching of the Word of God, uh, they, 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 get, uh, they get pricked in the heart. And if they don't want to turn from their sin, if they don't want to give up their sin, then of course they're not going to want to hear it they're not going to come to the light lest their deeds should be reproved. But when people are humble enough to, to be broken before God and accept the truth of sin and righteousness and of judgment, they're going to come to Christ and they're going to renounce their sin and be saved. And that's what people need today. That's what we need today is we need to humble ourselves before God. We need to realize that right and wrong are not relative. They are absolute. We need to realize that we have offended our Creator by our sin. We have committed wrong against our Creator. The Bible tells us that he that saith, uh, he that saith he has not sinned, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. We make God a liar if we say that we have not sinned. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It doesn't say all do sin. You don't have to keep sinning. But all of us have sinned and all of us need to be saved. That's the truth of the gospel. And the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ is how you and I can be saved. What about it, folks? It's heaven or hell when you die. Jesus said, I am the door, and by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Sin is a reproach to any people. My friends, you can look in culture, you can look in civilization, 
where Christ, Judeo-Christian values build up society. Judeo-Christian values delivered society from debauchery and depravity. But then whenever society turned away from God, it turned to wickedness and amorality, society fell apart. That's what's happening today in the West. Society falling apart because of sin. Yeah. <laughs>